Hello, Lisa and Yulahat. This is Ay Persia. Ang topic natin today is how to get the top and bottom number of a list inside the pivot table. So let's say we have this uh, data range here. This is actually a report about accounts receivable. Let's say in your company, you have a list of accounts receivable and you have salesperson and location and of course, yung kanilang um, amount. So to be able to create a pivot table, it is always advisable to turn this data range into an Excel table by pressing Ctrl T. Then we we'll just have to click OK. And now it's already turned into an official Excel table. We can now just insert a pivot table directly from this Excel table. So insert pivot table from table ranged. So I just want to place my pivot table in the new worksheet. You just have to press OK. And now we have our pivot table here. We will drag of course the amount first and then we can just format it from here just have to change the formatting and we have to click or drag the salesperson and of course the status then the filters so that we can only choose those that aren't paid to sort uh, the sum let's say i want to sort it descending we can just click sort set to A, descending, but that means we are sorting this pivot table based on their names, descending using their names, not based on amount. If we want to sort this uh, pivot table descending based on, on amount, we, should, we need to select more sort options. So descending, it is default doon sa ating row labels. Te. But if you want to sort it by amount, you ju we just have to select sum of amount. And then we just have to click OK. So now it's descending. Another thing we can do from this pivot report is to only show certain part of the re report. Let's say I want only to know which are the top three. Uh, customers that have the highest uh, accounts receivable in, in, in our company. What we can do here, let's go to value filters and choose top 10. And then we just have to change the, the word, the number 10, the number three, three items, and then by sum of amount. So, and then we just have to click OK. So now Excel will, will just show the top three items or customers based on those amounts. So another way, instead of the, um, showing the top three, we can also select the bottom three. Let's go the same uh, path, value filters, top 10. Instead of selecting top, we can select bottom. Everything else stays the same, top three items buy sum of amount and we just have to click OK. So now we're getting the three uh, least number of the unpaid uh, invoices for our company. Thank you for watching and see you next time.